Hi, welcome to my Prisma tutorial for beginners. So what is Prisma? Prisma is an ORM, aka an object relational mapper. And the keyword there is mapper, right? So it's going to let us use our JavaScript or TypeScript app, whether it's a Node.js backend or a Next.js app, and be able to talk to our database in a language that's pretty much like writing natural JavaScript. So it's really nice and it's type safe and it's a great migration system. And there's just so much goodies baked into Prisma ORM that just makes it, in my opinion, really fun and easy to work with, especially for a very minimalistic CRUD app. But you can, we can do so much more, right? So let's quickly look at an example here under documentation. So like right here, we have this function call constant called all users and it's just await prisma dot user dot find many so find many users include posts true so get all the users and include the posts with them and the users and posts here are two different tables if i wanted to write raw sql to replicate this i would have to write something like this select users dot star post.star from users where, sorry, join post on users dot ID equals post dot user ID. Now this isn't too bad, but if you're using like a native, like a Postgres driver, you don't have the type safety by default. So, and this can become more verbose depending on how more complicated your queries get. Although SQL is still pretty important to learn. So I would recommend having some kind of foundational knowledge of SQL before jumping into an ORM like Prisma. So you can appreciate what Prisma does for you behind the scenes. Anyway, so we're gonna learn lots of things in this tutorial. We're gonna learn how to do basic CRUD operations with Prisma, create, read, update, and delete. We're gonna learn about the Prisma Studio, which is an amazing utility to manage your databases. And we're going to talk about relationships and migrations, seeding, filtering, and sorting. And we're going to cover all that in these next couple of videos. So if any of that interests you and you want to get started from, with Prisma from scratch, again, I want to emphasize this is a beginner tutorial, then stay tuned. Um, so we're going to go through all of that bit by bit. And one cool thing I want to point out about Prisma is that it covers not only SQL databases like SQLite, MySQL, and Postgres, but it also works with MongoDB, which I think is really, really cool. Um, for this tutorial specifically, we're gonna use SQLite just because it can all be done locally and we don't have to worry about any like online database. And it just, Prisma makes it so easy to get started with SQLite, like you'll see how quickly it is. Um, I do have a starter repo. And then each of the lessons we're gonna have a separate branch for. So you can, all the source code will be available in the description below. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the first branch, the starter project. And let's go ahead and copy and clone it down with git. So we're gonna do git clone this repo. I'm gonna cd into my repo and I'm gonna open up my VS code. Let's drag it all the way over here. Okay, and let's quickly walk through what we have here. I made it as minimalistic as possible to not confuse anybody. So all we have is a TypeScript config file, a readme that just tells you how to clone this and set everything up. We can follow the instructions, right? Once downloaded, navigate to the project directory in a terminal and run npm install. So we can do that in just about a second. And then we can run npm run dev to run our app. And to make this, I'll bring my term a little bit higher. And we have a package JSON, and we only have a couple dependencies. We just have TS node, which will run our TypeScript app, TypeScript, and then at types slash node. That's all we have, three dev dependencies. In our source directory, all we have is an index.ts file that just says console.log, hello Prisma. So if we follow the instructions, we can run npm install, 
done and npm run dev there we go and we get hello prisma so once you have the repo all set up uh you can head over to the next video